Hey you guys, PJD here. I hope you're all doing really well. This is going to be a very quick first look video featuring some new items from Tarte. I will have the prices listed above, probably right over here. So let's get started. The first new item that they have is this Maracuja Neck Treatment. And this is basically a really rich cream that's supposed to be used for your neck and decollete. It actually suggests that you start from your chest area and work your way upwards uh, towards your neck and you're supposed to see an improvement in the quality of your skin. Now I certainly have not had this long enough to attest to any of that but I can tell you that it really does feel like a, a rich lovely cream. Take a look at it right here. Hopefully you can see that. I can hold it upside down. You see it's not sliding out. It's a very very thick cream. Um, it puts me in the mind of, I'm sorry that's the sunlight it's so bright here. It puts me in the mind of the eye treatment that they produced from Tarte. It's actually in very similar packaging except the eye treatment is very very small. So this is a much larger portion that you're getting again because of course it's used for your neck and decollete. So if you'd like me to come back over time and talk to you about whether or not I've seen an improvement in the quality of my skin, I'll certainly do that. So this is the neck treatment from Tarte. Next up we have the new Park Avenue Princess Contour Kit or Palette from Tarte and here we go. Now you've likely already heard me speak about Park Avenue Princess because it's one of the famous bronzers from Tarte. So they have it here again in powdered form because I believe they also had a kind of cream bronzer version of Park Avenue Princess in the past. So it has this little film in here that gives you the names of the different items in here. I'm going to show you first I'm going to cover this mirror because it runs the full length of the palette. Okay, and I don't want to blind you. So here we go. We'll start right here. This is the regular Park Avenue Princess bronzer that you may have already seen from Tarte. So that's this right here. And then right over here, this pink part is the blush. And this one is named Posh. And then right over here, the final item is the highlighter. Okay, now I can tell you that this right here, the bronzer... Uh, is not a bronzer on my skin tone. Let me just swatch this for you a bit. But what I can say is that I have oh so much sun. Okay, what I can say is that and see how it just blends in with my skin almost, right? You see it right there, actually lighter. Um, so what it does do? Oh, maybe you can see it from back here. Okay, you can see it right there, kind of. Okay, so what it does do is it works as an amazing eyeshadow. So that's how I've been uh, using this bronzer as an eyeshadow. The blush, yeah, so if you want me to come back and review these things, I can certainly do that for you. Let me just show you the highlighter. Okay, show you that on my finger. It's super bright this morning. Uh, let me move back kind of out of the sun. Maybe you can see that from here. I hope you can. I'll have pictures on the blog too. So that will be helpful for you to kind of get an idea of how these products may work for you. But you can see the highlighter doing its thing right there. Yes. Okay, so this is the Park Avenue Princess Contour Palette from Tarte. Right. Next up, you may have noticed that Tarte recently came up with this new campaign. They, of course, released the Tartlet palette and they had different uh, bloggers and other women representing different uh, kind of personality types associated with their palette. So if you already know Patricia Bright, I'm sure you do from YouTube, she was in the campaign and I think she's representing like the natural beauty. But anyway, when she was uh, filming and doing, uh, you know, photographs, taking photographs and everything for that shoot, they had this type of celebratory kind of packaging uh, surrounding her and that's what they have here on their new blush you can kind of see these little dots right here it looks like a party you think of bubbles champagne like a celebration and this new blush that they have is actually named celebrated and it also on the packaging has now the majority of the packaging looks very similar to the other tart blushes that you've likely seen on the line in the past but this one has these little golden dots on them and again the shade is celebrated it of course has the mirror up top as usual and here is the shade all right let me move it back so maybe you can see it here not too far off from the shade of my shirt let me just swatch it for you and the sunlight is going to be a little difficult but let me swatch it here for you and back it up right so this shade again it may just be best to do this one in pictures because it's it blends in with my 
skin or it just kind of melts into my skin so it's not um, as vibrant a color but I have used this with a darker blush like a really really berry shaded blush and then to bring it down a bit so it's not as pigmented or not as red kind of rosy on my cheeks I use this to kind of bring it down a few notches so that's uh, celebrated from Tarte so here we go and now to my two favorite items that have been released. We are getting to the lip products. I'll do this one first. It's one of their Amazonian uh, butter lipsticks. And if you've ever tried any of their buttered lipsticks, you know that they're buttery. As the name would suggest, feels really, really super creamy on the lips. Again, it's in this nice little packaging with the gold dots here. It says tartlet on the front as well. And also on the tube of the Amazonian clay, buttered lipstick you have these wonderful little darts dots and it says tartlet right here too this shade is named ethereal pink and here it is okay kind of like a mauvey rosy pink I want to try to shoot this for you okay maybe this is a little better I'll give you a little swipe of this right here and there we go right so hopefully you can see this. I adjusted the camera so we're not directly in the sunlight anymore. And this is Ethereal Pink. I have worn this and honestly I can wear this with or without a uh, liner because it's not as opaque as you may think that it is. It's really not um, on the lips. So again, if you want to see reviews on any of this stuff, uh, let me know. And the last item is the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip tint and in true tart fashion you get that feeling of like peppermint and tingling on your lips when you use this product this new shade is in glitzy which again keeps you in the same vibe as like a celebration so here we go glitz glamour you kind of think of that whole deal now I'm I have to get a piece of tissue to show you what this actually looks like because I don't know that it's going to translate this is really lovely don't be fooled by the tube which is a really light shade of pink but this actually has this golden, it's like a mauve lip surgeon's lip tint, but it has these golden flecks all throughout that comes onto your lips. It does not feel glittery at all. I know this one I'm actually kind of reviewing right now. It does not feel gritty on your lips at all. It feels extremely smooth, much like the Butter Gloss, right? Here it is. Maybe you can see those golden dots. Yes, I think you can. And the sunlight actually pick up all of those little golden kind of shimmery, fragments in this lip surgeon's lip gloss let me try to see if it will I'll have to adjust the camera again so I can give you a swatch that's not in the sunlight okay here we go so it's swatched right here you may not be able to see the golden dot so what I'm going to do is sorry for the camera movement is I'm going to pause this for a second put some on my lips and then I am going to wipe it off because on the tissue with the background being white you should be able to pick up not only the shade of this lipstick but also or lip surgeons uh, lip gloss but you should also be able to pick up those golden uh, pieces that are contained in this lip surgeons all right so one sec So now I'm just zooming in so you can actually see me apply this lip surgery. You may think it's the sun that's making it shine this way and in part it may be but these little golden flecks are kind of giving it this shimmery look and feel. So let me just back it up so you can see the look in its entirety. See it's not too much and now I'm going to wipe it off so you can see the shade and hopefully pick up those golden flex as well. Let me zoom in on this a bit. Hopefully you are picking that up. So it's kind of like a mauve color and then it has the little golden flex contained there. All right, so these are the new items from Tarte. If you've picked up any of them and you've used them, let me know. Also, if you'd like to see me review any of these in depth, because recently I received these, so I haven't had these long to play with them, but uh, I'm certainly using them now. So if you'd love me to come back and do a review on these, I would be happy to do so. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Tarte for sending this my way. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.